Hello everyone, welcome to jobskillshare.org. In this video, we will be continuing our help desk ticketing system part two. So when you go to the course, we are talking about this section, which is under here. And this video will go under ticketing system training for IT support part two. In part one, we just did installation and we discussed some things. In part two today, uh, in this section, we will be talking about more um, hands-on things and to see exactly how a ticketing system works so to start ticketing system uh, we created the last video we created our own system um, basically you know we install Spiceworks and this is what the users will get for example here users will get some kind of link when they click on it they'll have uh, some type of form where they can just come and type their name uh, description and then they'll click on submit so this is all they're doing and it could be more advanced people can make templates uh, so then when a user click on that template it will automatically fill these um, descriptions so they don't have to type it if it's like something repetitive or like you know loaning a laptop or something like that they'll put it like a loan laptop template so they click on it and just submit it and uh, the, the help desk guys or IT support will get that request quickly so it's up to the companies how they do this, but they they will keep that part simple. You know, anything that uh, users will see, that's going to be very simple. So then they don't have to do too much. But for you, uh, uh, for learning perspective, you can basically go back to the server side, and this is which where the server end is, and you can see right here it's help desk dash dashboard knowledge base user portal uh, reports um, and purchasing. Now, like I said, it's up to the ticketing system, but two, two or three things you're going to see in each and all the ticketing system, that's going to be either a dashboard, um, uh, a knowledge base is somewhere that help these guys will keep uh, adding the documentations, and the ticketing system itself where you assign calls, you see the calls, you accept the calls, you close the calls. So this will be a perfect place to, to kind of do your own training so if you come here you can click on new ticket here um, so contact is me related to you can add it summary uh, let's say um, we're gonna put something like you know um, keyboard problem um, I need new keyboard And you can assign it to a department. So this is where you will be kind of like uh, doing your research about the company itself. So if you're working for a company, then you need to find out what what's their main, um, what are what kind of ticketing, what kind of problems they will get, and who, what are the departments over there? Do they have uh, software developers? Do they have web department? Things like that. You just have to do your own research. Um, then you will get to know this part pretty well if you already have that information so then you click assign assign it to a help desk and uh, other departments and if there's other users that you want them to know about this you can add them uh, due date you can put that due time depends if it's a priority one uh, meaning that let's say if you assign this call to someone and you want them to quickly look at it because it's just you know everything is down then you will need to know what the priorities are so and then you can attach the attachments if if a user uh, is having an issue and you grab that attachment you can do that once you save it what's going to happen is that um you you'll see that ticket right here in your own um server area so if i refresh this you'll see that ticket will come in here um let's see what can be this i'm not seeing that Oh, unassigned. Okay, let's see. Open tickets right here. So when you click on open tickets right here, since I already assigned that, you'll see all the tickets right here. Um, and then you can see, you can click on that and do a lot of things with it. You can, like, since we already created a ticket from here, so it already did all these parts. But once users submit a ticket, they might not pick all these categories. So you'll have to ac come here and then basically accept it so for example if I go to unassigned tickets and this is where you can see all the tickets here so if you click on my tickets or show you my tickets but if you say unassigned and this is the one let's say the user sent you and you're still not accepted see how everything is not picked 
you can just click on accept here and then change all these priorities uh, or things like that you know tomorrow all that stuff this is what exactly ticketing system is about because it keeps everything a systematic way so when you do reporting by due dates by priorities by assignee by categories then it's just super easy to grab all this information and kind of know where you need to focus more and that's going to be for more of a management team to kind of look into these things and then do the decisions for future stuff so this is where you can play hands-on now this is a real world uh, ticketing going on right here in this um, site right here as you guys can see um, there are close open close open and these are all uh, tickets are coming in one day one two three four five six and you need all these things are like per day you'll get like 10 15 calls for example you decided not to play around with this you can't you don't have time to do this then you can just go to Google and type uh, this manage engine demo uh, I'll just do a service test right there so you just click on manage engine service test plus demo when you click on that then all you have to do is to click on IT help the software demo click on that and uh, no actually not on this one sorry we'll just go back and let's just click on here I'm sorry it says right here demo uh, service desk plus MSP.com that's the main link so you guys need to click on this and this is where you will get this part where you don't have to download anything you can test all these things um, online so that's kind of saves you a lot of time when you do a lot of uh, you know training for yourself so you can come here to this link demo dot um, right here demo dot service test plus MSP dot com and then you can click if you want to be uh, if you want to test it as a person like how users going to be putting tickets then you can do a requester or you can just do a technician so if you do technician right here you'll see just like another ticketing system same thing you know you have request overdue request due date see how all of these are like kind of same but different format depending on what designs they were using you guys can create a ticket like a quick ticket by yourself you can come here put our name account site title save it and then when you want to see the tickets you can come to dashboard um, and you'll see the overview of the tickets and you can come click on the request it's kind of like tickets this is where you will see all the tickets with the requester name assignee same thing in all of the ticketing systems so this is a great um, few tools for you you guys can do the spice works hands-on you can install everything that's all up to you it's your stuff you can come back to the demo one which is going to be removed and probably in 24 hours it will remove all this but you know for testing it's a perfect place because you don't have to install anything and you can just go online and go to Google let's say you go to google.com and just type demo help this even if you put demo help this you're gonna get a lot of other demos like web web help this my tickets and you guys can click on that and some of them are kind of request demos that you have to fill a form to get it and some of them are like this you know you just get a t tech demo and find demo so you guys can see the same thing going on in all these ticketing systems some might look pretty some might have more features but they are all the same so when you guys play around with this stuff and when you guys get all these terms and requests and everything then when you go to interview and somebody asks you about this ticketing system specifically or even if they ask about ticketing system in general you are very good you know your, your answers are going to be really um, they're going to have a lot of information so I'm sure you guys will love this when you guys play around with this it will give you a lot of confidence so we're done with our part two here and we're going to provide our project for certificate so make sure you do that to get the certificate thank you for watching this video see you guys again